A major win for the family of Corin Gaines. A $38 million verdict reinstated in an ongoing wrongful death lawsuit. Hello, everybody. I'm Rick Ritter. What well, was a case that gained nationwide attention? Corin Gaines shot and killed by police during an hour long standoff in Baltimore County. While a verdict awarded her son and family millions, it was then overruled by a judge. WJZ is live tonight. Rachel Menentoff speaks with the family's attorney who breaks down the new ruling, what it means, and what comes next. Rachel. Rick, good evening. Originally, a jury awarded the family $38 million in 2018, but a year later, a circuit court judge overturned that decision. Today's ruling essentially says that judge was wrong. It's a major victory for the family of Corinne Gaines in an ongoing legal battle. A special appeals court ruled Wednesday to reinstate the $38 million verdict awarded to them in a civil suit. Do you want to go out there? No. Gaines was shot and killed in 2016 by Baltimore County Police during a six hour standoff at her Randallstown apartment after police say she pointed a shotgun at officers trying to serve an arrest warrant. Corinne Gaines died a horrible, uh, tragic, sadistic, torturous death, and we just wanted justice for her and her family. Ever since her death, Gaines' family has been fighting through the legal system. They sued Baltimore County Police, saying the officer used excessive force when he fatally shot Corinne and injured her five-year-old son. In 2018, a grand jury awarded Gaines' family $38 million. But a year later, a Baltimore County Circuit Court judge reversed that decision, citing qualified immunity, which protects police officers from civil liability when carrying out their duties. The family appealed and on Wednesday, the Maryland Court of Special Appeals ruled in their favor. WJZ spoke to the family attorney, Jay Wendell Gordon, who says Corinne's mom was emotional when she got the news. She wanted to say that she knew that justice is on the wings for us and that we would win this case, and she's very excited. Gordon says the next step is to return to court where they will make adjustments to the verdict and figure out what the actual award will be. We did reach out to Baltimore County today in a statement. They say they are reviewing the opinion issued live in Baltimore tonight. I'm Rachel Menatoff for WJZ.